A few interviews ago, I asked Steve Percaro what it was like growing up in that house. What was it like growing up with your dad? I, when you have three guys that do what you guys did, I mean, yeah. there's something going on in that house. You know, you might think easily think there was some kind of great Santini thing going on where we were like, you know, practicing at gunpoint or something like that, which so wasn't the case. And, and believe me, my parents did everything they could to I'm talking about me now to get me to practice. They offered to pay me to practice. And I still wouldn't, you know, when it got really hard, when it got hard, when my lessons got hard. I just couldn't focus. I really had trouble focusing. You know, I'm I'm quite sure I had some kind of undiagnosed uh, attention deficit stuff going on. But um, it was really hard for me to focus. The only reason I've ever kind of pulled through and was able to make a living out of this is that I never gave up. I would always, I'd stop with a teacher, but then I'd start with another one. You know, my dad would have some other friend in the studios he was bartering with, some great keyboard player who would want my dad to teach their kid and my dad would say, sure, you want to teach my kid? And we'll just, you know, trade off. And they'd go, sure. And, you know, some of them were good teachers and some of them were horrible teachers. They may have been great players, but, you know, my dad was writing drum books and had a curriculum and was a true teacher where these guys would go, what do you want to do? You know, <laughs> people like, what did he do to get us kids to all be successful in the music business? You know, really, he didn't do much other than... Just be really supportive. 11th birthday, I think it was my 11th, not 11th birthday, 11th uh, Christmas. At that time, I wanted uh, Rock'em Sock'em Robots and a, uh, there was this shooting gallery thing a toy company made. And I got those things, but I also got this organ, this Ream organ, which I never would have dreamed of asking Santa for that. And that was way too high price a ticket for our family. And my dad got me this this organ and this little amp, and I just was, was definitely the best Christmas ever, you know? And then one time, he t I, I forgot, I was just getting into junior high, I think, and he took me to Guitar Center and he bought, I got a Farfisa organ. I upgraded to a Farfisa, I always wanted a Hammond, but uh, at the time I upgraded to a really cool Farfisa and he got me a, a Leslie, speaker you know what i mean with the preamp so got a really cool hammond sound for for being a little portable farfisa and stuff you know and um that's what i played all the dances with mm -hmm.